Hey, what's going on guys? Gavin Peacock here. We're in the backyard in Toronto. Oh boy, we got cicadas back. Advanced skills are the basics mastered. Don't go off using crazy transitions packs before you master the straight cut. These are gonna be five that you can do with your hands and body with the GoPro. Super dead easy, super effective. Looking at any feature film, do you ever see a transition that sweeps the world and zooms in, unless maybe you're watching the Doctor Strange Marvel movie? Oh, Brucey. Also here with Bruce, you guys have been seeing him in the videos lately. 90 pounder, he's a big boy. Yeah. The point of a cut should move narrative along in your edits. It should maybe transport you to other places or it should just change angle in a scene uh, fluidly without the mind having kind of like a brain fart. I see so much overuse of these transition packs. I want you guys to go back to the super basics and make that simple straight cut work. So here's five very quick ways that I've mastered the straight cut with the GoPro. I'll show you right now. Let's get to it. Okay. Number one, we're gonna call the high five cut, the fist bump, or the beer slap. I'm gonna claim invention to all three of these because I've been using this sucker since 2010 when the number one was out, and I've been doing that dumb fist bump transition forever. So you're seeing some examples right now. I'm also off walking the dog right now, but I don't know it, so I'm gonna transport us there right now with a fluid punch to the lens. Let's see this one happen. And as long as you can cut on that one magic frame of darkness, you miss it with a blink, you're transported in your edit. Didn't even know there was a cut. You should never really see the cut. That's the point. And we're on with it. High five, fist bump, beer bottle. Just make sure you got that lens protector on from the last video because that'll really mess up your GoPro lenses. Okay, and if you guys keep these cuts in your head and you're aware of the fact that you will be making them maybe on your travel videos, whatever you're gonna be doing, you can also call yourself back to other scenes, moving back in time, like I said, forward in time. So with the GoPro recording, I know I've bumped to another clip. That clip I could bump back and I can just start this one. Fist black on lens, pull back, and we're there. Clip's gone, keep your edits quick. Off to number two, let's go. Okay, number two is the slap transition and along with almost all the in-camera edits or cuts that you'll see on YouTube being advertised, uh, this is gonna rely on motion blur of the lens. So filming at only 30 frames per second, really quickly I can blur the entire frame and inside that roughness you're going to make a cut to another clip that can work for almost anything to anything again as long as you're being smooth through your edits and as long as you hit the right side of the camera and carry on that movement into your next cut it's always going to work awesome here's a little slap to the GoPro and maybe my future self walking the dog is going to slap this camera back and it's going to come and hit me perfect transition here and I'm back into the shot. Good, moving on to number three. Okay, number three is the hand reveal shot. It's been used by every Instagram model, every travel vlogger everywhere. Super classic, was really trending about four and a half years ago. All you have to do here is use your hand or body block to cover up the lens and we're gonna cut to the reveal elsewhere. So if I do it right now, we're gonna teleport to my future self and see what happens. Hand block, hand reveal. He's gonna cover the clip up and come back to me look at that okay number four is the body block just using any part of your body or someone else's body to block out the lens you use that little blip frame to cut to someone else pulling away from a body or revealing a scenery shot and the body block is really good for transporting your physical self to a new scene so maybe like arriving in the airport and i just want to teleport you to where i'm now going it's easy to just bring the camera into the chest full block out come back we've revealed here I am again, but I'll be showing you guys many, many examples of this as we go. Body block, moving on. Okay, number five isn't really technically with your body, but it's the match on action. If you guys want way more detail on this, I did an entire editing series. I have a full video on types of editing cuts you can be making without the use of all these crazy transitions. But the match on action is just knowing what clip you are in and where you're going and matching something to trick the mind into movement. So you, know, you could throw a ball, pan camera, come back, catch the pan in the next shot. I've done the match on action a million times in all my edits. So I'm just gonna be showing you a bunch on screen right now. They're fluid, they're quick. It requires one frame of matched movement and you never even know there's a camera cut and suddenly you're in a different space. So that's it guys. Those are the five techniques I wanna share with you today. They are dead simple, but highly effective if you use them properly. 
So go out there and get practicing. Master those basics to make your edits look next level. That's it for now. Gavin Peacock out. Like, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for more videos. See you guys later. What are the basics masters? France, the point of a cut is, what is the point of a cut? Not recording. Go f yourself. On number three, on number four. Add the transition packs and just, nah, it doesn't work. Let's close this differently.